Could Tesla's release of the Plaid Model S and Model X be a battery day surprise? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to CleanerWatt. In this video, we're going to dive into some of the hints and some of the clues that Elon Musk has given us over the months about the Plaid powertrain and the Plaid Model S and the Plaid Model X. I'm going to reveal all that we know about the potential price points, potential performance, and some of the clues that we have about the batteries and also some of the clues about how much range this vehicle will have, will it have new battery technology, and also some of the design aesthetics as well. Stick around and I'll reveal all these details. First of all, I want to talk about why I believe battery day will be the appropriate time for Tesla to release the Plaid Model S and probably the Plaid Model X as well. On September 22nd, Tesla plans to hold their annual meeting of stockholders and they're combining this with what they're calling battery day. I did a whole previous video on what I expect Tesla to bring out and the technology they'll present at Battery Day. And you can watch that video if you have not already. But we do know that Tesla is going to release a lot of information about their batteries, their production processes, and hopefully new technology as well. So why do I believe that Tesla will release the Plaid Model S and the Plaid Model X on Battery Day? What clues do we have that point to this? So in September of 2019, Elon Musk estimated that it would be around a year before they would be producing the Plaid Model S. That puts us in September of 2020, and Battery Day is in September of 2020. We also have a really recent clue from Elon Musk that he tweeted out here in August of 2020. A Tesla Roddy article actually dives into this particular tweet and talks about how it could be a cryptic hint ahead of battery day. Quote, Elon Musk recently posted a photo of Herbert Ruggles Tarlick Jr., a character on the television situation comedy WKRP in Cincinnati, which ran from 1978 to 1982. The character was noted for his loud plaid suits, which were usually dominated by bold colors and patterns. Musk's tweet noted that, one day soon I will wear this outfit. I, like many other people, believe that Elon Musk tweeted out this Plaid reference referring to the Plaid Model S, the Plaid powertrain, coming soon. And the next big event is, of course, Battery Day. So saying I'm going to wear this suit one day soon does lead me to believe that he was referring to the Plaid Model S coming out at Battery Day. If we were talking about a normal company and a normal CEO, this would be reading way too much into a post like this. But Elon Musk is known for sending out hints and little clues about what's upcoming in the future for technology, and he has definitely done this quite a few times in the past. This article gives a few examples of that. Quote, Musk posted something similar back in 2014 when he noted that it was about time to unveil the D, referring to the Model S P85D, the first vehicle in Tesla's lineup with two electric motors. Musk also started posting about lemurs on Twitter in the days leading up to the release of the mid-range Model 3. One other big clue on why I believe Tesla will release the Plaid powertrain and specifically the Plaid Model S at battery day is because I believe the Plaid Model S will have new battery tech. This is supported by a tweet from a white hat hacker on Twitter that goes by Green The Only. He was diving into some of the back end of Tesla software and he noticed that there was some information about two new S and X battery types in several configurations that were coming. So from this it sure appears like Tesla is going to introduce some new battery tech for the Model S and the Model X and it would make complete sense that you would do this at battery day because they're going to be talking about their new batteries and what better way to demonstrate this new technology than to release the vehicle, the first vehicle that is going to demonstrate that battery technology. When you put all these clues together, I believe it really points clearly that Tesla will release the Plaid powertrain and the Plaid Model S and maybe even the Plaid Model X at battery day. So now that I've covered why I believe it will be released at battery day, let's talk about some of the details that we have about the vehicle and some of the details that we've been given also clues about from Elon Musk. 
We know from Elon Musk's tweet in September of 2019 that the Plaid Model S will have three motors. We also know from the same tweet that the Plaid powertrain will be available in the Model S, the Model X, and of course the upcoming Roadster. We also have quite a few photos of prototype versions of the Plaid Model S, and we can see some potential exterior changes that Tesla will be making on the Plaid Model S. This Tesla Roddy article points out several of these, including the new updated wide body design, the massive rear diffuser, the upgraded spoiler. You can see in the picture that the suspension appears to be lower. There are noticeably different side vents behind each flared front fender, and also there is a larger front air intake. Elon Musk has also given us some clues about the potential cost and price range of the Plaid Model S. In that same tweet in 2019, at the end he said there, it will cost more than our current offerings, but less than competitors. By competitors, I believe he was specifically talking about the Porsche Taycan because it came out right around this time, and I believe the Plaid Model S is really Tesla's answer to the Porsche Taycan. The Porsche Taycan 4S starts at around $103,000 US dollars. The Turbo starts at around $150,000 US dollars, and the Taycan Turbo S starts at around $185,000 US dollars. I assume by less than competition, he's referring specifically here to the Porsche Taycan Turbo S because that's their highest performance version of the Taycan. So that means we should be less than $185,000 for sure, but I believe that Tesla will be able to release this less than $150,000, and I actually expect the Plaid Model S to cost around $130,000 to $140,000. We also know that the Plaid Model S will be a very capable track vehicle. In September of 2019, Elon Musk responded to a Tesla Roddy article talking about their Nurburgring testing of the Plaid Model S and some potential time estimates from this particular run. In this tweet, Elon Musk said, we expect these track times to be beaten. According to this Tesla Roddy article, quote, German media outlet, Auto Motor und Sport, which has been covering the region's auto industry since 1946, started a recent report that the Model S beat the Porsche Taycan's Nürburgring lap time by almost 20 seconds. An observer from the publication recorded a hand-stopped lap time of 7 minutes and 23 seconds for the Model S, far quicker than the pre-production Taycan's time of 7 minutes and 42 seconds. To further support this, Tesla's official Twitter account tweeted out in that same month, September 2019, Plaid Model S can achieve 7 minutes 20 seconds at the Nürburgring, according to their tests. They also said that 7 minutes and 5 seconds may be possible. To put that track time into perspective, I looked up some of the records for the Nürburgring. According to the website Autocar, the fastest road legal lap around the Nürburgring was made by a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, and it was able to do a lap in just over 6 minutes and 44 seconds. The Neo EP9 was able to do this in just over 6 minutes and 45 seconds. And if the production Plaid Model S is able to achieve 705 or greater, that would put it right in line with the Mercedes AMG GTR Pro, which had a time of 7 minutes and 4 seconds. Also, according to this tweet from Tesla, they set a new record at the Laguna Seca for a four door sedan. Their fastest lap was just over 1 minute and 36 seconds. And I definitely believe that Tesla will be able to beat this time they achieved with the Plaid Model S prototype with the production model because of this Tesla Roddy article which talks about the unplugged performance modified Tesla Model 3 that was able to even beat the Plaid Model S's record at the Laguna Seca track. The unplugged performance modified Model 3 was able to achieve a lap time of just over 1 minute and 35 seconds. So from all this evidence, I believe it's clear because Tesla is testing it in a track environment that the Plaid Model S will be geared toward track performance. Elon Musk has also given us some clues about the battery size and range of the Plaid Model S. In this tweet that went out in November of 2019, Elon Musk confirmed on Twitter that the Plaid Model S and X will have higher than current capacities when it comes to the battery packs. 
This led to a lot of speculation that the Plaid Model S would have crazy amounts of range. However, in February of 2020, Elon Musk tweeted out this in response to Ryan McCaffrey. There's a tough performance versus range trade-off. Plaid has absurd performance while holding range roughly constant. The last topic I'd like to cover in this video is whether or not the Model S will get an interior refresh with the Plaid Model S release. There's been a lot of speculation about an interior refresh for the Model S and the Model X for years, including this Electrek article that came out in July of 2018, entitled, Exclusive First Look at the Tesla Model S and X Interior Refresh Going Spartan Like the Model 3. From this picture, you can see an illustration of changing the screen for the Model S and the Model X potentially to look something like the Model 3 and of course modernizing the steering wheel and the front dash. However, with all my research and digging, I was not really able to find any concrete evidence to support that Tesla is going to have an interior refresh for the Plaid Model S or the Plaid Model X. So I'm really still on the fence about this, but do let me know what you think. Do you believe that Tesla will release a new interior with the Plaid Model S and Model X? And does the Model S even need an interior refresh? Obviously at some point Tesla will refresh the Model S, but I'm not so sure that it will happen with the Plaid Model S. So in conclusion, I believe that the Tesla Plaid Model S will be a very impressive track vehicle and it's important to keep in mind that it will also be a very capable and very practical four-door sedan. The Plaid Model S should be able to outperform any vehicle in its class while also competing with other two-door sports cars. It's also important to note that the Plaid Model S is really just foreshadowing what will come when the new Roadster comes out in the near future. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button so other people can find the video. And I also wanted to take a moment to thank these Patreon supporters who support me every month and help me bring this content to you. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, you can find a link in the description below. Thank you so much.